If you're using Google Calendar, you probably know what a capable monster it is. Despite everything that it has to offer, I still believe that it lacks one feature, is natural language processing. What is natural language processing? It is the capability of telling a computer what to do in your natural language. The truth is it's barely coming for free because it requires computational power and is provided usually as a service. So the third party services that provide this will charge you a fee. But today I'm gonna to show you a way to integrate this natural language processing to your Google Calendar seamlessly and also without paying a penny. The good news is it's cross-platform and it requires a one-time setup on one of your devices and you'll be able to access it on your Mac, Window, Android or iPhone, whichever you have. So here how it works. We do require an application called Todoist. Todoist is a to-do to application. They're quite famous and they have a large user base. Uh, the pricing for this application for what we need is free. Uh, so what we do need is just a personal project which you can get uh, up to five personal projects on a free on a beginner uh, tier here which is zero cost zero dollar cost uh, and you get the natural language processing free on this so let's set it up so in order to set it up you need to go to settings on one of your desktop application either is mac or windows click on settings go to your integration and then click on sign into the Todoist web app. It will redirect you to the web interface on your Todoist, which might, you might need to sign in again here. But once you signed in, you can connect your Google Calendar. So from here, you're gonna select your... So once you selected your Google Calendar, you will be redirected back. And then from here, you can continue the setup to this will ask you, do you need me to create a new calendar in your Google Calendar for you or you can use any of your pre-existing calendars? I'm going to let it create a new calendar for me. To this can sync all the projects for you or any specific projects, which here I'm going to use one of the specific projects that I want to sync with Google Calendar. So this is the label and you can give it a time frame for the new events that is going to be created. And the rest of them are optional, you can look into them. For example, this one, if you complete the task on, on Todoist, what would you like to happen in calendar? Here, you can stay on calendar or remove from the calendar. I'm gonna let it just stay. Click connect, let it integrate and create the Todoist calendar for me. So the integration is finished now. If I go back to my calendar, I should be able to see a Todoist calendar created here for me once I refresh and as you can see one is created so you can see that it creates some of the events for me because they were pre-existing in my uh, project name tempo if I click down nothing should happen because I told a uh, calendar not to do anything if it's done Okay, now let's try the natural language processing. I want to meet Mason tomorrow at 10 a.m. And as fast as I click add, if I go back here, I should be able to see the meeting is created for me using natural language processing. It's very powerful, it's very quick. For example, you can create the recurring task with it. Uh, listen to audiobook daily 11 p.m. and if I go there just like that I have all the recurring tasks of listen to audiobooks created for me it's very powerful and it's very convenient uh, you can try other things for example if you check um, to do is natural language processing you can try to figure out all the different commands that you can provide uh, for to do is to create your events in your Google Calendar. And then you can work it out yourself. So the other thing you can do is, for example, deleting an event here. If I do that, I should see it reflected on my calendar as well. So I deleted meeting with Mason. And as you can see, immediately deleted over there. 
and on the Google Calendar side also if I delete I should see it reflected on my to-do list yes so as you can see the integration is quite fast and it happens in a fraction of a second so in order to show you how the cross-platform works here is my iPhone and I didn't do any separate setup on my iPhone now look at me creating an event here again uh, read daily at 10 a.m. and here on my Google Calendar you can see that immediately reflected all the events are created on a daily basis at 10 a.m. give it a try and let me know in the comment section how it is hopefully it was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.